The Air Force's U-2 has been keeping an eye on the planet's hotspots for 60 years, and with a $50 million contract the service awarded in April. The U-2 will not only be able to peer at adversaries, but also better support friendly forces for decades to come. Lockheed Martin, which developed the aircraft in the 1950s, announced the contract for design, integration, and testing of new advanced components on April 9th. Interim fielding is planned for mid-2021, followed by fleet modification in early 2022, according to a release. The work, called Avionics Tech Refresh, is part of a broader effort to expand what the U-2 can do and to enable future upgrades. The U-2s and U's now were built in the 1980s. All of them have about 80% of their airframe life still remaining, Irene Helley, Lockheed's U-2 program director, said in a late April interview. The aircraft was redesigned in a modular format in the late 1980s, which makes it an ideal platform for upgrades and for putting new technology in the field, Heli said. As it allows us to plug and play a lot of new systems and take them from concept to development to instrumentation, testing, and fielding within months rather than years. Ultimately, what we're doing in this avionics tech refresh is setting up that backbone for a lot of the future missions, Sean Thatcher, program manager for Lockheed's avionics tech refresh, said in the interview. The Reconnaissance Avionics Maintainability Program, or RAMP, in the mid-2000s was the last major upgrade to the U-2 cockpit. It included a new avionics processor and the replacement of 1960s era dials and gauges with multifunction displays. The work covered by the contract awarded last month will build on ramp, Thatcher said. Among the avionics tech refresh upgrades will be an updated suite of avionics meant to modernize the U-2 systems. Replacing outmoded components and enabling those systems to work with new technology in the future. The program will also install a new mission computer that's designed to the U.S. Air Force's Open Mission System Standard, or OMS. The new computer will allow the U-2 to work with systems of different security levels across air, space, sea, land, and cyber domains. The work being done now will allow Lockheed to complete future modifications, adding software that will allow systems on the aircraft today to be more integrated, share the right data, give pilots a better view of their surroundings, and allow them to share information with other assets, all of which will really open up that multi-role aspect for how these U-2s can operate in the future, Thatcher said. Lockheed is still working with the Air Force to develop a concept of operations for the new systems. But the U-2s are on a path that seeks more modernization versus just what the current configuration is, Thatcher said. And that's what the backbone is really allowing us to do. Despite the relative youth of the U-2 airframe, many components, especially in the cockpit, are dated. The updates announced on April 9th include new, modern cockpit displays. The multifunction displays installed under ramp in the early 2000s used technology dates to the late 1990s and have seen rapid upgrades, Thatcher said. New displays could bring touchscreen functionality to the cockpit. Think of it as being able to touch on an iPad. And it will give them that resolution they need to be able to see some imagery and be able to put more information up in front of them. Thatcher added, U-2 pilots wear pressurized suits while in flight, otherwise their blood would boil at cruising altitude, and making sure the new screens work with their gloves is one aspect of these upgrades.